hopefully we can talk about this next year because I haven't won it yet. But um, you know, we had a bad memory, flipping upside down and doing all that stuff in the grass. So that was that was definitely bad. But I can say 2006, running third, having a shot at the win, Jimmy Johnson for the win, but um, and missing that just because of uh, lack of a draft drafting partner. But uh, just having a shot at winning the race uh, is just so awesome. Knowing that uh, you know, 10, 15 years ago, I was sitting up in the stands. Uh, over in the Seagrave section watching the race and uh, always wanting to do it and then have a shot at doing it uh, and winning it and being that close, uh, that's my best memory. Yeah, I went, um, my dad and I used to come down, he pulled me out of school on Wednesday, we'd drive down uh, through the day and overnight, park in the Cracker Barrel parking lot, uh, illegally of course, and uh, uh, sneak in, actually we had tickets for, um, for Thursday and then uh, we'd sneak into the garage area, but uh, um, We'd sit up there and watch the what was the 2125s, and um, you know, we actually there were tickets that my grandparents used to have. My grandparents didn't come anymore, so uh, we got to come down and enjoy it, and um, it was it was always a lot of fun, something to look forward to, not just from getting out of school, but enjoying the racing as well. Uh, oh yeah, I always wanted to do it. I was always racing quarter midgets and midgets, and um, it was just uh, obviously it was coming down here, you know. Watching Jeff Gordon do it, who previously raced matches and Ken Schrader and a few other guys, so um, it was definitely um, a goal and uh, a dream of mine.